rocket electrophoresis which also is based on this precipitation stuff rocket electrophoresis or you can say pharesis also so this particular one electrophoresis pharesis they are the same stuff some write e some write o so you can write up either way so electrophoresis rocket electrophoresis pharesis this particular one how we perform that first of all you see that in this we take the same your graph structure in this side x axis this side y axis okay on this particular side what you have done you have taken the agar gel okay you have taken the agar gel here and in that agar gel you have made some holes like this okay you have made some holes and this side of the agar gel this is all agar gel in this agar gel what you have put with antibodies you have put that okay so basically in this particular full side in this particular full side what is present in this full side there are antibodies in the agar gel is it fine now in this particular holes what you put up antigen suppose in the first one you put 5 then 10 units then 20 units then 40 then 80 okay so this basically are what they are units of antigen what you call them as you call them as units of antigen and they are being pushed and they are being put in the ascending order means for the first one 5 then 10 then 20 then 40 then 80 yes or no now when you do that when you run down this particular one electricity now after putting up this one you run down electricity because electrophoresis is there or pharesis is there now when you run down the electricity in this what you observe you observe formation of rockets like this okay and in this what you observe that if the five units of antigen are there in this particular one the rocket size will be less when the 10 units of antigen is there the rocket size is bigger than that 20 bigger than that 40 more than that 80 more than that so this particular thing is termed as what 